Despite humanity bringing every inch of land on the planet, and even some off the planet under its banners, mm -hmm. the ocean, which covers about 70% of the Earth's surface, is 80% unexplored. If you are looking for giant, undiscovered animals, it's not the worst place to search. Mm -hmm. And in the 1990s, we just might have found one. In 1997, in the South Pacific, 50 degrees south, 100 degrees west to be precise, so sus, the sound surveillance system, a sonar system mostly used to track Soviet submarines initially, in this case being used to listen to underwater volcanic activity as the Cold War had ended, picked up an ultra-low frequency, high amplitude sound that lasted for over a minute. Now when I say high amplitude, I mean it was being picked up by listening stations at a range of over 3,000 miles. There was no indication of what made the noise, except that it was not man-made, with the scientific community using the term organic. Now, there are two main theories about the origin of the bloop. The first is that the sound was produced by some form of ice fracturing, essentially just icebergs breaking apart, which could produce a noise as loud as the one that was recorded. This is the current scientific consensus as to what happened in 1997, which has not been definitively proven one way or the other. The other theory is that the bloop was produced by a living animal. A scientist from the NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, even stated believing so in an interview, clarifying that he initially believed the ice fracturing theory, but later realized that the sound was closer to one made by a biological creature. Now, if this is the case, then whatever creature that made it would have to be much, much larger than any animal we currently have on record. For a little perspective, here's a size comparison between our theoretical sea creature and a blue whale, 75 feet long and over 100 tons. This isn't necessarily what the creature would have to look like, it's just to make the comparison more straightforward. Now, as I said, the ocean is a very large, unexplored place, and it's not just possible, but even likely, that there are very large animals that we have yet to discover. So, what do you think caused the bloop? Let me know in the comments section below.